Here's your host, Tom Dorado. Well, hello again and welcome to the Pat Jones Show. The Oklahoma State Cowboys played host the seventh ranked Nebraska last Thursday night. And Pat, it was another Cowboy Husker barn burner in this series. Tom, I was not surprised that we played well. We thought going in that we would. I think our players and coaches did a, a great job of handling the, the short week of preparation. Again, Nebraska had had the open date. We were coming off the, the, the victory over TCU, and we really did not do a whole lot of contact type stuff at all. Never did wear full pads the entire week. Practiced a couple of days uh, with just headgears on, which is very unusual for us. But I think as far as being ready to play and playing a good ball game, we can certainly always play better, and there's some things we got to get better at. But on the same hand, it, this was a heck of a ball game. I, uh, I can't say enough about our student body. With Thursday night ball game, like we had talked about last week, didn't really know where we were going to be crowd-wise at all. I thought the crowd was, was extremely loud. The student body was probably more in evidence mm -hmm. to me than I've noticed it in several years and can't say enough about those people. They wanted to win as badly as we did and I think that was those were all factors in this being again a heck of a ball game. Well, it was action packed from the opening kickoff and we'll be back with first half highlights right after this timeout. I first got well, Pat, what an atmosphere. National television, a revved up crowd, and a big eight opener against Nebraska. Really well, it was. It was good to see uh, our old friend Mike Godfrey. He used to coach at University of Kansas back several years ago. And he was in town, and Brad Nessler and Jerry Punch, and the, their Thursday night crew, which, uh, again, they're first class guys, and we certainly enjoyed having them around. It adds to the luster of this ball game. But no, a big emotional game. I, like we had talked about earlier, our guys were gunned up. I, I think Nebraska was anxious to play. Uh, Nebraska won the toss, uh, elected to receive. We kick the ball into the end zone. The, the, they get the ball and, and hammer away here and make a couple of, uh, they're making seven, eight yards here. Uh, defensively, uh, Rich Ainsley got uh, mm -hmm. stung a little bit and does come back. Uh, now I think we start making a few plays in here on defense, but with uh, Tommy Frazier and Calvin Jones, again, here's Frazier, the quarterback, when he's right and healthy, and he was still limping around, you got to give him credit because there were times that he was noticeably still limping, but he played a good ball game. Now, this was the first big break. We got really, I think, the, the biggest break that occurred in the first half. Frazier mishandled the snap, and the ball ricocheted way back toward our end, and Javon Langford, the freshman defensive end, falls on it. Here you can see Tommy cannot get a hold of the ball. I thought at one time we might scoop it up and run it in. There's Langford, 89, getting it. Now, so we've got the ball, and these are the types of things, particularly at home, that you you need to have happen when you're an underdog, when you're playing somebody as good as these folks. Throw the little quick screen to um, out to Denson. There were offsetting fouls that were called here, so the, the, the play remained, and now it's second short. Okay, so we've got the ball. Now, we hurt them particularly in the first half with the fullback play, both with the trap and, uh, and, and, the, and the belly play. That was the belly play that had broken. Uh, here, here it comes again with Joe Jefferson making some yardage. Uh, you can see a replay of this. This is really the same type of play that Nebraska runs themselves. That is the, that in this, this play and the option off of it. Okay, we try to throw the slant. This was the third down play. Lawson Vaughn comes in and kicks it through for us to take a three nothing lead. We're obviously going fast here with the highlights, Tom, to try to get as much of the flavor. In. I think we've got virtually every play in the first half in. We kick it off now. They do come out with it. We end up making a play. Our, our kick coverage units did a good job. Uh, they blocked in the back. Uh, take it back now. This is a really good series here defensively. Calvin Jones, who came in and played, has been injured, certainly makes them better. The Javon Langford really jumped in behind a block, did something he really wasn't supposed to do in all honesty, jumped in behind it. But he, the things that we've seen, this is the true freshman from D.C. that he can, in Gildan 83, uh, Langford can really make plays. He's a guy that's going to, he's going to do a few things technically not exactly like you would like to have him done, but he still makes plays. Okay, now they come back and, and, uh, and Try to okay. They jumped in motion right there. A lot of people jumping around. Well, it was loud. It, this was a extremely loud stadium. Now they come back and give the ball off to Calvin Jones, and we hit him for a loss. Uh, a defensive unit comes out. They move the ball early on. This is a replay of the same thing. And yeah, they try to run. There's Langford again. We'd run a little stunt and turn him loose. Got him turned loose, and he makes a play. They punt. We're going to get the ball with good field position. The thing that was that was starting to be a little bit of a concern. Uh, you'd love to get sevens out of these instead of threes. So, but we've got the ball down here. We jumped. 
there was a, there was this was we were antsy. I think with some of the television timeouts and all honesty, it, it disrupted the, the rhythm a little bit. Now here's Tony Jones coming back in and scrambling around. Boy, this th throws this one away. Now he comes back and and these his mobility and, and athletic ability. Boy, it's a great catch here by Boogie Johnson. Allow Tony to uh, escape the rush. Nebraska with Alberts and, and, and some of their people, are, when they got back their ears, they're pretty good pass rushers. You can see Tony getting away from it and throwing, and, and here's Boogie Johnson. It really makes a nice catch. He's laying on the ground. Comes that's so we've got a first down there for him. Run the sprint draw to Boogie Johnson. He breaks. Now, this gets called back, mm -hmm. doesn't it, Tom? Mm -hmm. Sure does. I can't remember what it was either. We, yeah, we moved here. Again, I think we were antsy. I think we were kind of antsy, which we got to get better at, certainly. Here's Tony coming out. Uh, getting off on a scramble really doesn't make much. We did not turn the ball over the entire night. Here's Boogie Johnson breaking again on the sprint draw. Uh, replay of the same thing. He starts to one side and breaks it back as they're running up the field. Boogie had a good night. He had some. He had a nice job. Did a nice job catching the ball. Did a nice job uh, breaking some runs. Here you go. We got the fullback belly. Now we come back in and run the sweep. Now we're going to run a sprint pass here with motion to Denson, who breaks the outside, gets right at a first down here. Same play that we had hit uh, a couple of weeks ago for a big play against Arizona State. Run it now with Denson. Uh, he gets it out, so we've got uh, first down, turn around, pitch it to Boogie Johnson on the sweep. They're giving some ground, but it's pretty grudgingly here. I, Nebraska was starting to stiffen in here. All right, we ran the option, really did not get much out of it, but this little run here is probably one of those great three-yard runs. Lawson Vaughn kicks the field goal for us to go up six. The only down thing about it is, if you could have, if you could have ridden the ride, the wave of emotion, to get some sixes and sevens instead of threes, you probably got a chance. Lewis Adams really makes a nice play, number two, the freshman tailback, on the on the kick coverage. He runs around the whole wedge and, and hits him. So we've got things going on. We're controlling the clock and really controlling the ball. You couldn't oh. script it any better other than not having the touchdowns, That's correct? exactly right. Now, here's one thing Tommy Frazier can really do. We had the option played at the point of attack. This is what Turner Gill and some of those guys used to do with you. You had it played. I didn't think that was a flagrant foul, but uh, now they jump and we're going to move back. So you can see there's a lot of movement going on mm -hmm. around. Mm -hmm. Okay, here's Frazier keeping the ball. And you got to, to give him credit for playing with, a, with an injured ankle and really, I think, played a, a, a very good ball game. Uh, they called us for roughing the passer. We, now they've got the ball on our end of the field, try to run the option, don't get much out of it. Try to run a counter play, and we fired Keith Burns, a linebacker. Scotty Harmon comes up and makes a great play. You can see Burns running through inside. He gets pushed from behind if you watch here closely. Uh, uh, right there. Okay, and Harmon just propelled him into it, and, and again, good play. So they come in, and they're fixing to kick a field goal. Okay, they throw the ball here. Had a guy open, overthrew him. Now they're going to come in and kick the field goal. We've still got the lead 6-3 to three, uh, right at the start of the of the second quarter. Now, they're, we're fixed to really go on a nice drive mm -hmm. here. This is a fullback screen that Joe makes one. Joe Jefferson makes a guy missing. Comes out. They jump off sides here. Uh, we've got the first down. Tony comes back. We try to throw a fade and get hung up out here and overthrow it. Now we run the trap. Don't make much. We're fixing to break that here in a little while. We, now we run a sprint pass again. Tony comes up, throws. Shannon Culver catches it. Tough spot. Tough spot well, right there. We're an inch short. It's fourth and inches. We elect to go for it, run the sneak, make it pretty gutsy. But on the same hand, we I think you got to probably do a few things like that to win a ball game uh, against Nebraska. We throw, come out, throw plaques on first down. Derrick Jones, here we hit him with a trap. Joe Jefferson, we've got things going up the field pretty good here. Same play. Joe Jefferson, who is like we've talked about throughout the course of the season, is a converted tailback that has got some running ability. He knew it was the first. Oh, Tony knows what's going on. I guarantee you, he's. He's a, he's a very interesting human being, uh, good football player. There's the trap again. Tailback gets a little bit. We did put David Thompson in here at tailback. This is him. Uh, good tough run right there. Headgears come flying out of the pile. Run the sprint draw here to David Thompson. He gets hit but still makes some tough yardage. Come back and run it again, and he breaks to the outside, almost gets away. But he's, he's run, looked to me like he ran with a little bit more authority as he gained some ground experience-wise. Come back and run the same fullback screen that we had run earlier to Joe Jefferson. Now we've got a first down on the Nebraska 12-yard line. Same play again. Sprint draw, fake comes off, throws it over here to the fullback. Uh, we had two linemen that were there. There was one of there. They are right there. Joe has got enough ability to make a guy miss. Now it's first and 10 from their 13-yard line. Run the trap uh, to Mark Spatz, make some yardage. Run the trap to Spatz again. Ooh, he goes down to the one. So now we insert our goal line people in. Roger Franks at fullback, Big Lewis Adams, the, the freshman at tailback. 
Now we're going to go with Lewis, and he goes over the top. He's got he's got more leaping ability. He's got a knack for that. Some people just do because he's a big, tall guy uh, that can't explode off the ground. Is he's really going to be a good football player? Same play again. You see, we got Roger Franks now in it at fullback. Uh, we actually got three tight ends in the ball game now. Counting one of them is Roger Franks. We give the ball to Lewis, and he goes over the top. We're going to come in and kick the extra point, and we've got the 13 to three lead. The place is going bananas, as you could have imagined. Another big defensive stand here. Yes, that's right. We come in, and they break one in here. Mm -hmm. Looks like they've got a little bit of chance to try to run a reverse and really don't get much out of it at all. Uh, this is a third down play. Mm -hmm. Richie Ainsley is going to right here. It plays the isolation exactly right. You can see him comes up in here and throws his shoulder right up on the fullback's pads and makes the tailback break right into him. Ideal. Great play, Richie Ainsley. Great play by our defense. Nebraska is forced to punt. Scotty Harmon comes over fair catchy, so we've got pretty good field position now. Come out and try to run a quick screen again. They get dense and bottled up. Nebraska can run pretty well defensively. Now we come out, run a sprint pass. He throws the ball to Boogie Johnson. Nice catch. Nice run. That's a way to keep fighting. Now we come back out, try to run the sprint draw again to Boogie Johnson. He's making some nice yardage. He takes some licks and holds on to the ball. Well, he does. He's doing a good job protecting the ball. There's a trap to Joe Jefferson. We did not have a turnover the, whole, the entire night. Tony did not throw an interception. We had some fumbles, but we got them back. They stop us. We come in and punt. Don't hit this this punt well at all. He's got he got a little bit of pressure. They got a guy that ends up Byron Miles, who ends up blocking the punt mm -hmm. later on on us. So now Nebraska's got it around the 30-yard line. They come out and, and try to run a little bit of play action. We've got it pretty well covered. Oh, they're making some yards. Here's Frazier. Interesting call here. Yeah. Yeah, I, I can't really remark about that. That's that clip right there has been sent, sent to the Big Eight office. Rest assured. They now they come out and run the screen uh, to Calvin Jones. He did not look like he was a hundred percent, but he was near it. And he's one of the better backs in the country when he is. We're, this is late in the half. Nebraska is going with shotguns and no huddles. Here's Frazier right here. We get a sack on him with 24 seconds left. 20 seconds left. They come back in and dump the ball off. Link Harden does a good job of knocking him out of bounds. Now there's 14 seconds left. They're going to come out and hit the corner route right here. They got in right in between our two deep coverage. Now they take one crack at the end zone. We pretty much got him covered. They come in and kick the field goal. I think had it been a touchdown, Tom, it would have, it would have, it would have taken quite a, some of the air out of our mm -hmm. sails. The field goal really, in all honesty, didn't. I did not know detect really much of that, if any at all, uh, in the dressing room halftime. We're ahead 13-6, to six and again, it's got all the makings of extremely close ball game. Well, indeed, Cowboys up 13-6. to six. Catch your breath. We're back with second half highlights right after these messages. World Cup. Well, the Cowboys leading at 13-6, to six, and Pat, the Cowboys get their hands on the football to start the second half. Well, we did what we thought we needed to do right early in the second half. We were concerned a little bit. I was concerned a little bit at half because our dressing room was so emotional. You wondered, well, are we going to burn out at some point down in here? We really never did. But uh, we come out, throw the ball early on to Culver, uh, pick up five yards, All right, run the sprint draw again, uh, make some yards. I really thought, uh, actually, we lined up wrong here and got in the wrong formation and turned Boogie Johnson loose. Uh, I don't know how we did it, actually, but in all honesty, but which caused them some problems alignment-wise, and we dump it out here to Boogie and make a first down. But really, uh, I thought Nebraska from our sideline, I thought Nebraska turned it up a little bit mm -hmm. defensively in the second half, run the option play and make nothing here to Boogie, actually lose a couple yards, and then we flinched right in there. Uh, I think in all honesty, that was Tony's fault on that, on the cadence part of the thing. Come out, gosh, we almost had that. That was a nice route. Nice throw and just went over the top of, of, of Rafael Denson's hands. Here's Tony coming out on the uh, scramble. His, I, I really thought they uh, did they call that? Oh, that's the one they called off. That's right, uh, which, which was a good call I thought. But we get stopped. Come out and punt them back. Now we're here's Dixon. We're going, they're going to get the ball on 27 yard line. Now they move on on the play. This is their drive. We get third and nine on the sixth play of the drive. All right, this is the third down play that we actually tip the ball and it goes into their hands. Same play, the link Harden, the linebacker, we're going to see he's going to get his hands on the ball right there. Ricochets it up in the air, and Dixon catches the ball. We make a nice, sure tackle. The, the, we did a pretty good job with a few exceptions, not giving up very many big plays. Okay, here's Frazier trying to go deep. Uncatchable ball. Here. Uncatchable ball. Mm -hmm. Threw the flag, but the ball was thrown way over his head. Uh, uncatchable. So they come back, run it. Well, nice play here, defense. Now that you can see there in the shotgun, we run a blitz with Burns. He gets knocked down by the tailback, gets right back up. Uh, they throw in complete. 
come in and, and pop kick the ball, but it goes into the end zone, so, so we've held. We've moved the ball a little bit to start of the first half. We couldn't move, now Nebraska's next possession. Nebraska has got the ball, see, with decent field position, tries to go deep. Good play, Scotty Harmon. Here's Frazier on the option. He ducks up inside. He ran with quite a bit of authority right here. He said, we've still got control of things as far as rush-wise. Here's Calvin Jones for a little bit in here. Uh, Frazier, who, he, I thought he really, he was the difference probably in the running game when it got down to it. They really never hurt us dramatically other than, than Calvin Jones breaks one late in the ball game. They really never did do much with the fullbacks. But uh, uh, here's a good play by Calvin here. But again, I really thought Frazier was the difference as far as doing, being able to do some things like this and making on, on the classic, the same option we've been running. It's one Nebraska has run for ages. Now Nebraska comes in and kicks it through. It ties the ball game at, at 13. We're trying to rain a little bit, but it was really never a factor. A little bit of win, right not back a to, great deal. Uh, right back to Nebraska again now. Now that was a different type of option right there. They had a little shuffle pass with the capability of doing that. So Nebraska's got the ball around midfield. In fact, on our side of the field now. They'd, here they go, come back, try to throw a screen. Guys from over there where we were standing, it looked like we almost had a chance to intercept it. Here's the option keeper by Frazier right here. Absolutely nothing. Good play. Who is this, Charles Verner? Gilden, I believe. Gilden, okay, 83. A good job here. Gilden's playing things exactly like he wanted. It's got enough athletic ability to keep Frazier from jumping up inside of him. And good play, Oklahoma State defense. Really, with a few exceptions, we had a good night defensively. Uh, Nebraska punts. We're going to come in and... Uh, ball goes out of bounds. You kind of halfway shank that. Now we run the trap and break it. This this was the I thought the biggest one of the biggest plays. Is this the one? Not yet though. Not we yet. Okay. We we okay. now we got lucky here. That ball got knocked loose from mm -hmm. us down there in the field. I think Boogie Johnson recovered it. We had had we had the trap call back by uh, Joe Jefferson. And, and now okay, we're going to start fourth quarter, which which in the third quarter, which was a big play. That kind of mm -hmm. set up an unusual turn of events. Sets up this turn of events. Right. We get sacked back in here. Now we've got to go into a tight punt formation. Uh, uh, Byron Miles, their guy who had been pressuring us throughout the course of the day, faked outside, ran inside of one of our people, just got it blocked cleanly. The ball just locked right on his chest and didn't go out. So they got a touchdown. Now Nebraska is going back, and if they got the lead, we come back and, and really kind of make a response in here. Pick up a uh, – do we pick up a first down, Tom? Uh, right in here was third and two, and then he got a punt. Okay, yeah, there, there you go. All right, we're going to punt the ball down to their end of the field. It was a, it was, it, yeah, it was a long two yards down in here. So we punt the ball, got good coverage. Come Three back. and out for Nebraska. We got it again. So we break this with Boogie Johnson uh, getting the ball. See, we've got a procedure penalty, mm -hmm. which really hurts. These th sorts mm -hmm. of things, we've got to get to where we – particularly in clutch ball games, we don't. Tony got the ball knocked out of his hands right there. Again, we were lucky. We got it back second and 17. Throw it to the outside with Denson. They've got him bottled up. Now we come back and throw. All right. Yeah, okay, they're trying to get deep on him. They had the doggone thing covered. Now we're punting again. Uh, I thought at this particular, right around in here, Tom, we were losing a little bit of our stinger offensively. Uh, get a little bit of a return. They get the ball in here. Uh, now here's Frazier on the option. Not much other than a couple plays. We defended this thing reasonably well. Now they come out and if Werner had a chance. It's hard to see from over on our sideline that he had really had a chance to intercept that thing. So it's just a there's it's a one touch it's a touchdown mm -hmm. ball game right, right here. Now. We've already made our mind up that if if we score and go ahead and score late in the game, we're going to go ahead and go for two to try to win it. Here's a third and eight play. He comes out, gets that ball, Rick. Now we're going to try to fake the punt, right? Okay, it's third and eight, and this is not good odds, we, we know, but I thought we were losing some momentum offensively. We had them lined up in their punt safe look, which we wanted. Now come back and, and don't make the fake punt. They turn, we try to blitz. Calvin Jones hits a crack, uh, goes off and runs it in here, pretty much wraps it up. They come in and, and kick it. Nebraska wins the ball game 27-13. Uh, uh, so uh, I went to 26 to 13. 27. 27-13, I'm sorry. But uh, good ball game right down there to late. They, they broke one, which, uh, you know, what have you. It was just a one-touchdown game, as you said. But the game against Nebraska is now history. Cowboys hit the road for two straight weeks, and we're going to come back and take a look at stop number one when we return to the Pat Jones Show. Well, Pat, the Cowboys will now have to get it done on the road the next two weeks, beginning Saturday at Columbia, Missouri. Tom, the way it looks like this league race has got a chance to stack up to me is, is I don't know that there's going to be one or two teams that are going to run off and hide with this thing. 
when it gets right down to the, the end, I, there's going to be several people that got a shot at this thing. If we're going to be one of those, we've got to go to Missouri and, and hopefully do our best to win the ball game. Bob Stull and, and the Missouri people have kind of gotten things going a little bit again. They beat Illinois early on and, and, and had the tie with SMU, played Colorado pretty well. Uh, here the other day, but uh, it, it, you got some things to contend with up there that are not going to make this easy. But if we can somehow get it done, like everybody else in the league, you got a chance to remain in the league race. Well, thanks for joining us again this week, and we will see you next week for Pat Jones and Oklahoma State University. I'm Tom Dorado. Again, we'll see you right here next week.